Psychologist Kevin Oshner and Associates at Columbia University discovered that when people go through a painful, disappointing experience, but engage in what I would call a cognitive reframe, not only does that cause them to experience an immediate positive effect on emotion, but what that also does is create changes in the brain that are quite significant. What he noticed in his research is that when people reframe a certain situation, or cognitive reiteration is the words he used, it increases the activity in the prefrontal lobe and decreases the activity in the amygdala. And what that means is within a certain situation where you have to repeatedly perform at peak levels and you can't afford to allow a disappointing setback or an outcome really screw you up for your next session or your next sales appointment, your next coaching session, when you reframe what that means to you, it enhances executive function so you perform better cognitively and it reduces activity in the centers of the brain that result in anxiety, fear, and other things that will impair performance and the cumulative effect of that within a day can be quite significant. But the issue with this is just telling somebody, well, look at it a different way is easier said than done. How do you do that? And I think the reason why a lot of us get into trouble is because we confuse means with ends. And a lot of times if your outcome or your intention only sees so far into the future as the next appointment, well, we can get beaten up emotionally quite easily. This is where purpose comes in. This is where there's a power behind intention. The other day, I was with a coaching client of mine, and we were talking about what he does, and it was very cerebral about what he offers, why he offers it, and how people engage with it. But when we got down to the why, what he came up with is he wants people to be free because he believes that when you're suffering from brain fog, when you have low energy, you can't move properly, or worse, you move painfully, no matter what it is you want in life or what you envision as the best version of yourself, you don't have that. You're not free to move, you're not free to think, you're not free to engage, and that causes people more than physical pain, it causes them a lot of emotional and mental anguish, and he wanted people to be free so they didn't have to go through that. When you have a purpose that strong, and something goes wrong in a coaching session, or a training session, or a sales call, it's easy to reframe it and say, well, that was one isolated incident, unfortunately, but what did I learn? Because the, what separates experts from non-experts, well, there's a few things, but one major thing is distinctions. We are able to see things that other people can't see, so we're able to solve for problems that other people cannot solve for, which is why they come to us in the first place. So even when you miss a sales call, things happen within that sales call that made you better. If you can say, well, why did that happen? Or what was the problem that I couldn't solve? Or what did I learn from this? And in what way, even though I didn't get the sale, or even though the training session didn't go exactly how I thought it was gonna go, in what ways am I better? And what distinctions are now apparent to me that weren't apparent to me before? Because if you take a look at it, you know, very rarely is one simple thing that we do, even if it has an outcome that's not favorable, catastrophic in terms of how it affects our whole life. I mean, well, if you get pulled over, running from the police, smoking crystal meth, yes, that one incident can negatively affect your entire life. But if it's a training session or a sales call, usually it's the cumulative effect of what happens over days, weeks, months, and years that set our destiny. So even when things don't turn out exactly as planned, if you got a distinction from that that you didn't have before, you're now better positioned to recognize and solve for problems that you might not have been able to solve for. So everything with a reframe, it's not just a way of looking on the bright side or thinking positive, it's a way of developing the skill of identifying distinctions and employing those distinctions to solve future problems, which is the essence of what it is we're paid for.